here if you see this particular rhizometric view here there are so many dimensions missing so that's why these problems are going to be termed it as limited dimension problems okay where most of the dimension they did not mention it here okay so for this one the first thing is i have to draw the x y and x1 y1 reference line the thing which i can able to see from here is i can able to see this entire part is it or not first i will draw this one see here the total length is 125 125 minus 55 whatever the length is getting that length will be 70 so from 70 this side will be 35 this side will be 35 so first with a line with a point of 35 i am going to write draw a line then a height so even the height is also not known to me but this height is uh, somewhere they have given it as a 12 okay so uh, 10 so with a height of 10 mm distance i will draw a line and again this line will be 55 which is given in the figure clearly and again a bottom line of 10 and again a vertical line of 35 now i have to go certain height so before going to certain height i have to mention the line height as 10 mm only then this length is also not uh, given in the question okay in in this particular thing but they have given uh, the distance from here to here as uh, 75 so from 125 i will try to minus uh, 75 i will get 50 so that this length will be 25 and that side length also will be 25 so from here to here at a distance of 25 i will draw a line next i will try to draw an up line again it will be having a height of 10 and again a line which will be having a distance of 75 total distance of 75 then next again a bottom line okay 10 next a, a horizontal line 25 next a vertical line 10 so this completes my view which i can able to see from here is it or not next next i will draw the vertical lines what are the things because this hole is there no this hole is there this hole is not visible to me so i will draw a two dotted line similarly this side also there is one more hole okay so that hole also i will try to dot in mention in the form of a dotted line so next i will draw this vertical projection which is having a distance of 75 minus 10 because 10 already i have drawn it here now the distance will be 65 this distance this height okay this height will be because already i have drawn it here 10 mm so i will go for 65 next a horizontal line which is having a distance of uh, dimension of 75 next a vertical line which will join this one which will having a 65 now there is a hole here this hole is not visible to me from the front view but i have to represent in the form of a dotted line so i will take one reference axis line and then i will try to make a dotted line on the top and bottom line on the top whatever the distance is 16 mm so from here this distance will be 8 mm this distance will be 8 mm and from here to this particular center to this particular uh, part it will be around 15 because here they have given it as r as 15 so here we are marking the 15 mm distance okay with center point okay next so this completes my front view now i am going to draw the top view so top view i have to take the projector lines okay i am going to draw the projector lines and the first most thing is i can able to see this entire billet whatever the width is there from this point to this point i will draw it then a vertical line which is having a distance of 90 next a horizontal line and again i will close this particular part okay now from the top view i can able to see two divisions here so this 25 mm distance 25 mm distance so i will mark that one 1 2 so this will be 25 next i am going to draw this part so from here it will be at a distance of 60 so from here i will try to take a, a point which will be having at a distance of 60 and then i will draw a line here okay now after drawing this line here there is some hole as well as here also there is some bottom reference line so this bottom hole i will i have to represent with a dotted line that 35 i will do it okay this one this reference line i will do it little bit later okay and next i will go with the hole hole which is having some center with a radius of 12 uh, with a radius sorry with a with a radius of 6 diameter is 12 i have to draw a hole similarly on the other side also with with the center uh, with a radius of 6 i will draw another hole next this dotted line this there is a some groove at the bottom as well as there is a hole also here this hole also we have to represent this hole i how i will represent in the form of two dotted lines 
ओके विथ विथ अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ सिक्सटीन एम एम सिक्सटीन एम एम एंड फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इट विल बी हैविंग ए डिस्टेंस ऑफ यू अज्यूम दैट देर विल बी ए सेंटर लाइन हियर दिस सेंटर लाइन इज लोकेटेड एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ फिफ्टीन सो फ्रॉम अबो एट एंड बिलो एट एंड ऑटोमेटिकली दिस डिस्टेंस विट बी फिफ्टीन माइनस एट दैट इज सेवन एम एम डिस्टेंस सो द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दिस इज ए डायमेंशनल रिडक्शन प्रॉब्लम सो मोस्ट ऑफ द डायमेंशन आर मिसिंग हियर दट्स वाई वी आर गोइंग फॉर calculating the dimensions here so next thing is a dotted line this groove is visible to us no this groove is visible is not visible to us from the top view so we have to represent that one in the form of a dotted line where we are having the projections on the projections time only we will represent it as a dotted line so this completes my top view so next thing is a side view uh, that is a left hand side view since i am trying to view from the left side i have to represent it on the right right side so first thing i will take the projections for this particular figure projections are going to be like this then from this side view i can able to see this 90 mm width so this 90 mm width part i will represent here next from here to here at a distance of uh, 10 mm i will draw a line similarly 90 mm on other side also i will draw because this part this part this entire part is visible to me 90 then i will close this one to 9 10 next from here to here at a distance of 75 mm i will try to locate a line it will not be exactly 75 here why because see this reference line is at a distance of from here it will be at a distance of 75 and again from here to here it will be at a distance of 15 so 75 minus 15 you will get 60 from here at a distance of 60 we have to draw the line next similarly on this side also what i will do is i will draw this 10 mm height this part this part 10 mm height and again this line 60 mm line 60 and this will be 10 mm line now similarly i will try to drag this one also up to 60 height 60 now this part is essential this curve this curve is essential so from this particular point i will draw a curve joining this particular point now i will locate a center here and after locating the center i will draw a circle also here okay as well as some holes are there here so this holes also you mention it here okay since two are symmetrical and if you see from the side view you can mention only one hole that is sufficient this completes our left hand side 